everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be checking out the Dragon Breath Operator mod for the Mod 12 shotgun here in Black Ops 4. Now that's the thing, you guys have really been enjoying my recent Operator mod videos, so that's so come. Of course, I'm going to be doing another one, and more specifically for this particular video, we are going to be checking out the Dragon Breath Operator mod for the Mod 12. If you guys didn't already know, the description for this particular Operator mod says, Incendiary Ammunition Inflicts Damage Over Time, which I'm not going to lie, this particular operator mod is extremely deadly as well, as if you couple it with long barrel as well as barrel choke, it overall makes this particular shotgun a very consistent one hit kill. So with that in mind, that's what come of course I am going to be checking it out in this video. And guys, as you can see, this is the creative class that we are going to be using. Starting off, of course I am going to be using the standard variation of the Mog 12 as well. As for our first attachment, we are going to be using long barrel and our second one, we are going to be using barrel choke, which overall, this is just going to make the Mog 12 a more consistent one hit kill because it of course is going to be increasing the effective range of this weapon. For our third attachment we are going to be using fast mags then of course for our final attachment we are going to be using the operator mod. For our piece of gear we are going to be using stem shot and then for our first as well as only perk of course I am going to be using scavenger. For my camo I am going to be using diamond which I'm not going to lie looks really nice on this particular weapon however a little bit later in this video I might go ahead and switch it up a little bit and equip a reactive camo because there are several reactive camos which honestly look really nice on this particular weapon also guys if you go on to enjoy this video make sure you go ahead and leave a like on it down below let's go ahead and see if we can break 15 likes on this video that'd be absolutely amazing and yeah guys now that i got the intro out of the way i will see you when i join up into my first game all right guys so of course as you can see we are going to be joining up into our first game of the video and of course i'm going to be playing a game of standard tdm here on frequency now that's the thing of course we did end up joining in a little bit late into this particular game however kill. there we go that's our first kill it's really not too big of a deal because of course my teammates are winning as well so there we go that's another one so with all of that in mind let's go ahead and see exactly how well we can do in this game and yeah guys if you would like to feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on this particular operator mod now that's the thing this particular operator mod is annoying to go up against however the reason why i like it and that's just because it makes this particular weapon a more consistent one hit kill i'm not gonna lie with barrel choke as well as this particular operator mod equipped it honestly feels a lot like the classic remington 870 shotgun that was of course in call of the black ops 2 and there's another one and of course that's going to be the uav as well as another kill and there's another one and let's go ahead and call on this counter uav as well as give my teammates a little bit more health and not gonna lie we are doing pretty decent over here And there's another kill and of course let's go ahead and call on the sniper's nest currently going 14 and 1 which is really good in my opinion especially for starting off this particular game and there's gonna be another uav and all right so we unfortunately died however it's not too big of a deal currently going 20 and 2 which is really awesome and of course i will definitely take it and there's one and of course this game is going to be coming to a close so all right guys so of course that's going to be the game i'm going 24 and 2 really awesome game in my opinion and of course i will definitely take it so yeah guys that's going to be our first game and i will see you guys in game number two all right guys so of course as you can see we are going to be joining up into our second game this time we are going to be playing a game of standard tdm here on summit now that's the thing there we go that's our first kill not gonna lie summit is a really awesome map to be using this particular shotgun on because there are a lot of close range engagements and that's of course where this particular shotgun excels or really any shotgun there we go that's one as well as another one okay i'm just gonna fall back for a second and right now i'm not completely sure where the enemies are gonna be however it's very possible that they are gonna be spawning on this side of the map all right there's a person afk in the back of the map oh my goodness however nonetheless let's go ahead and pick up this can 57 because this particular weapon is extremely dominant at close range however there's really not that much you can do at those medium to longer range engagements so that's how come it's always a good idea to pick up a backup weapon no, there we go that's one as well as another one and of course let's go ahead and throw this down just so that way i have a little bit more ammunition and all right so we unfortunately died however it's not too big of a deal and honestly that's one thing that i find really interesting about this particular weapon there we go that's another one as if you guys remember back when black ops 4 originally released in october of 2018 not that many people use this particular weapon 
that's there we go that's another one especially since the sg12 with the operator mod was extremely prevalent when the game originally released and uh, overall people didn't really use shotguns too much and if they did of course they were going to be using the sg12 <laughs> It wasn't until a little bit later into Black Ops 4's life cycle that people really started using this particular weapon. And you know what, this person is using the Peacekeeper, so let's go ahead and pick it up and maybe see if we can get a couple of kills with this thing. Of course, that'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> What? There we go, took him out. And the main issue around the Mog 12 was that it wasn't very consistent. I remember trying to get diamond camo on this particular weapon, and even if you were rocking six attachments, this weapon was very inconsistent, and even though it was a pump action shotgun, a lot of the times you would have to shoot the person two and maybe even three times to get the kill. And it wasn't until a little bit later into Black Ops 4's life cycle that this particular weapon got a buff. And now in the current state of Black Ops 4, it is a very consistent shotgun, especially if you are going to be using the operator mod with long barrel as well as barrel choke. There we go, took him out. As well as, wait a second. There we go, took out that mesh mine. Not gonna lie, that was extremely close because I almost walked right into it. There's one. As well as another one, okay. Let's go ahead and grab an assault pack. And all right, now I really don't have to worry about the dog coming after me. And of course, let's go ahead and give my teammates a little bit more health. There we go, took him out. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not completely sure where the enemies are gonna be because the spawns have been a bit inconsistent as well. As long as the R team as well as the enemy team has been quite scattered. And this person is using the Peacekeeper, so let's go ahead and pick it up. And hopefully we can get a kill with this thing. There we go, took him out. And let's go ahead and throw this down just so that way we have a little bit more ammunition. There we go, took him out. And let's go ahead and pick up this KN57 as a backup weapon. And of course, he is using the Mastercraft camo, which I'm not gonna lie, looks really neat in my opinion. There we go, took him out. And it's possible that there are gonna be some more people on this side of the map. All right, guys, so of course, as you can see, we are gonna be joining up into our third game. Now, that's the thing. For this particular game, I decided to go ahead and switch it up a little bit a couple of different ways. And that's, first of all, I am gonna be using the Death Reel Reactive Camo, which, I'm not gonna lie, this is a really cool reactive camo on this particular weapon. As well as if you guys didn't already know, for this particular weekend, there is gonna be a grind 24-7 playlist. So, uh, honestly, I think it is really cool that Treyarch made this particular map free for Days of Summer because Grind was honestly a really awesome map in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And if you guys would like to, feel free to comment down below, did you play Grind back in Black Ops 2? And also, this particular game, I did join in a little bit late. However, we currently have a 130-point lead as well as when I joined in originally. My teammate had a gunship, so... There we go, that's another kill. With all of that in mind, let's go ahead and see exactly how well we can do in this game. And you know what? Let's go ahead and pick up this Mog. So right now we are rocking double Mog shotguns. There we go, took him out. As well as another one. As well as another one, okay. All right, guys, so of course, as you can see, we are gonna be joining up into our fourth game. And this time, we are gonna be playing another game of TDM here on Grind. Now that's the thing. Of course, for this particular game, we are going to be joining up right from the beginning. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and see exactly how well we can do in this game. And there we go. That's another one. There's another one. As well as another one. Okay. There we go. That's another one. As well as another one. Okay. Let's go ahead and give my teammates a little bit more health. As well as calling in the sniper's nest. And let's throw this down just so that way we have a bit more ammunition. Not too long ago, the time me making this video, I did end up making a video where I mentioned that I think it was really awesome that the Tiger Shark Light -like Machine Gun was the first DLC weapon in Black Ops 4 that, of course, had an operator mod. Then I said that I thought it would be really awesome if in the future of Black Ops 4, more DLC weapons did end up having their own operator mods. And there we go. That's another kill. And one thing that's really awesome and that some of the new DLC weapons that were added into Black Ops 4, of course, had their own operator mods, such as the Ballistic Knife, as well as the brand new Vendetta Sniper Rifle. There we go, that's another one. As well as another one, okay. And if you guys would like to, feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on the new DLC weapons having their own operator mods, because honestly, operator mods are really awesome additions to Black Ops 4. Tango down. 
and hopefully in the future I think it would be really awesome if they added in operator mods for pre-existing weapons in Black Ops 4 that do not have them and of course guys that's going to be the game I'm going 35 and 7 really awesome game in my opinion and of course I will definitely take it all right guys so of course that's where I'm going to be ending off this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to leave a like on it down below as well as make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss a new upload from me so yeah guys that's of course gonna be it for this video i hope to see you in the next one